licences originally were handed out with good intending politicians that wanted to give people a backup to be able to grow otter. So they were virtually handed out like smarties. And most people realise with the cost of infra infrastructure, the cost of pumping and, and handling water, that it, that it didn't add up. Water is distributed on flow regimes of one in ten year flood or a one in five year flood. Well, sometimes it can take 20 years to get a one in ten year flood. So most of those licences were kept in the bottom drawer by people that knew their country really well and, and knew that it wasn't needed. Now what we have with big push for food and fibre and mainly corporate companies looking for security and water and stuff, there's a value on those licences, so the temptation's there to sell them. If everyone takes a spoonful out, that's all right, but they've got to understand that they're taking the bloke at the end of the system, they're taking his water. So if he takes a thousand megs or five thousand megs and fills his dam, that's probably another couple of k's down here, it doesn't flow, it probably doesn't reach this fence line and starts to fill this channel which fills all the next stage of all these wetlands down here which is our grazing country, which bottom line is they're taking food off my table and putting it on theirs. These are the swamps that fill yeah, on moderate flows, so these are the ones that suffer the most or suffer first when you have extraction because the extraction turns a, a, a moderate flow into a minor flow. So since this only fills on a moderate flow, uh, it's these sort of um, swamps that suffer. Without water laying on this country, it can't grow. That's how it's evolved. It needs water to lay on it. So if it's not laying on it, um, it's just basically black soil wasteland. We're stimulating the grasses, so if we didn't run stock here at all, they'd just grow and, and become dormant in the end, because they need to be stimulated, like mowing your lawn. If we've been here three years, and I think we've had six flows. And each, each time the recovery stage is a different stage, we're up to the grass stage now. It's always described as harsh country, but really it's, it's not. It's, it's pretty soft, gentle country. And everything, you've just got to be patient here. Um, when the birds are here and the pelicans come in onto our main water hole here and fish it and um, you know you can't help but sort of enjoy being here. If you've got something that's unique you sort of don't tell anyone, you keep it to yourself because there's always that fear that the government might take it off you or resume it, make a, na uh, a national park out of it or something. And I think we're sort of over that now, like maybe there was times in the past when that happened so the, sort of the effects of that has been that no one knows what this system does. No one knows how unique it is and um, why it does what it does because we tended to keep it to ourselves.